president officially announced his reelection bid for 2024. The president releasing a video announcement online on Tuesday that was exactly four years after he announced the run that ultimately led to the Oval Office. We are joined now by Niall Stanich, White House columnist with our partner, The Hill. Niall, always great to see you. Uh, let's dive right in. So the president's approval rating, currently at 37%. I know you know this. This is according to Gallup. Now, it's been hovering around 40% over the past year. So what sort of impact do you think this is going to have on his chances in 2024? It makes it a very uphill climb. Kelly, there's no doubt about that. Those are not the kind of numbers you want to see or anything close to them if you're a president seeking re-election. And on top of that, obviously, there are widespread concerns about President Biden's age. Now, the key point on the other side of the argument is this election isn't just a referendum on him. The people of the United States will get to choose between him and someone else. Maybe the someone else will be even less acceptable to them, which would obviously pave the way for a second Biden term. OK, very interesting that you mentioned that. I did want to ask you about this now. So Biden is polling well in hypothetical voters um, against former President Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. So does that make him the favorite on the field now as a result? Or how do you interpret those numbers? So I think when you talk to Democrats here in Washington and around the country, they would prefer to run against former President Trump than almost anyone else. They understand that Mr. Trump has very staunch support among the Republican base, but they think he's just too unacceptable to too large a number of people. And I think that feeds into the head-to-head -head polls that you're referring to, where President Biden, generally speaking, beats him by a, a fairly small margin. Now, Governor DeSantis down in Florida, assuming he enters the race, is a little different. I mean, the generational contrast is much sharper, given that Governor DeSantis is only in his 40s. Um, it, it would be a competitive race, but I think Democrats fear DeSantis more than they fear Trump. That's really interesting. Um, so we've had several recent rulings on abortion and the end of Title 42 a short time away now. So will the border and abortion continue to be the biggest deciding factors, do you think, in the 2024 race? I think there are two very big political issues, but of course they pull in opposite directions. On the abortion question, we have now seen a, a growing list of evidence just stacking up that the public, broadly speaking, it favors the democratic position, or at least is more liberal than many of the proposals put forth by Republicans. It's a completely different story on migration and the border. That is one of President Biden's weakest issues. It's an issue on which the Republican Party clearly has the advantage. So I'm not saying that they'll cancel each other out. That, that's a more complicated political question, but they, they pull in opposite directions. Niall Stanich, always a pleasure. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.